Now, I think relevant, it's relevant behind Germany. Germany has a code that protects religious institutions from criticism and shields it. And Mariam and Sami are coming on the stage. Please, please do come on the stage to discuss this code and, pa um, and propose a resolution for the conference. Thank you. So celebrating dissent is deeply concerned with code 166 in Germany's criminal code, which, which shields religions and religious I and ideological organizations from criticism or defamation if deemed to disturb the public peace. Punishment can consist of a fine of up to three years of imprisonment or up to three years imprisonment. Since any criticism of the sacred and taboo can be met with a disturbance of the public peace by fundamentalist violence and threats against critics, the code gives succor, sorry, I wrote that word, but I don't know how to say it, succor? Succor, succor to the censors and oppressors whilst silencing dissenters. So a case in point is that of Abbas Muhammad, Muhammad Apur, a member of the Council of Ex-Muslims of Germany, who has been found guilty under this code and fined for his criticism of Islam and Muhammad, Islam's prophet, in the city of Stuttgart. He will be appealing the 4th of July 2022 decision. We uh, call on the German government to scrap code 166 of the criminal code, drop all sentences and charges pertaining to this code, and to respect the right to apostasy, heresy, and blasphemy, which are integral to freedom of conscience and expression and are protected under international human rights law. We'd like the conference now to show their support of this resolution, to adopt this resolution with applause. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Mariam. This, this is a really, really important resolution that it's, uh, it sets the scene uh, on, on that uh, uh, code.